What's up? Bob and I are about to put the Alley Cab shadow awning onto the Ford Transit van. There's a whole bunch of little issues, so it's gonna be a, a fun day of fabrication. What we'll need to figure out is how to attach it to our roof rack. Interesting bit of stuff here is these little foam strips. This weather cover, which as you can see, is not attached. This piece, which is a strap and a, a friction buckle there. Our roof rack comes with three crossbars and depending on how those crossbars span, we might need to drill through to make use of all three of our bars here. Can't bolt the end of that right into there without some sort of uh, bracketry. So we got the factory Ford rack and we're gonna cut the rods up, the bars, and weld supports onto them to hold the alley cab on him. So if we mount everything on center, on the center of the bar, then our last swing arm should be able to clear this camera no problem. And I think that's uh, going to be easy to weld together with minimal measurements. That pose you got. <laughs> Transit has existing holes in the roof that are covered with black plugs. A bit of a pro tip, we've got the insert. So we pull the top, the threads in there are painted because the body's painted. So they throw the inserts in there, then they paint the body and everything's primed. So taking five minutes or less to run a nice tap through the threads a couple of times, to clean them out of all the paint and debris and anything else that may be in there will save you time later. It's kind of like preventative maintenance, something I usually don't do. So we gotta put the foot, the tower, on the crossbar first because when we weld our plate to it, our nuts are then gonna be captured. We'll never be able to get them in and out. So we got the first plate tack welded and roughed up. We just zapped it on the end of the tube. It's galvanized so you can't breathe it. Put some gussets and stuff in. Just sitting up there. But right now, Tacos and a burrito. I'm getting ready to uh, drill through the back side of this large plate. And what we did was basically mount up the rear first and then trace our second plate dots on there. And then the third bar over here, trace around that. So hopefully this works out. We might have to open some holes up a little bit once it gets up there. Right here, our scaffolding is OSHA approved. We got this ladder that's not. siliconing because apparently they leak if you don't, which makes sense because it's just a hole through the roof. So other bros just bolt them down and think that seals, but it doesn't, so we silicone the f out of it. Pro tip, ball end Allen wrenches are superior to non-ball end Allen wrenches. They allow you to come in at an angle. Let's set it here. Yeah, put it on Bob's sick kayak rock. Oh yeah. Bob's ability to measure using rulers and stuff. And it's mounted. We got a step stool because we knew the only problem with having an awning on a 10 foot van is that it's way up there. So we're gonna give it a try, the grand reveal. Yeah! Is it clear? Oh, yeah. Is the clear pull open? Ooh. Yeah, dude, the alley you have. Yeah, great work. Uh. <laughs> 